Hello everyone, James Stephanie Sterling here. Now, usually we start this video off with a lovely bit of a filmed live action intro. The only problem is, is we did do one and the sound was fucking untenable. I will actually play you the outro uh, at the end of the episode that we did film, mostly because my friend Louis was doing the filming and he'd be absolutely gutted if we used none of the footage. Now I'm away on a trip to London, Justin has been moving, I'm all out of resources, so I'm, I'm I'm just here to apologize before we start what I think is a pretty good video, which this week has been guest edited by Jane Aerith Magnet at Maniac Janiac on Twitter. So do please enjoy today's episode, which is totally 100% guaranteed all about video games. Who wink? The world may have gone to hell in a handmaiden, but over in my little corner of the world, things are looking pretty good. You see, after years of being told by rational individuals that my videos on corporate overreach in a fiscally violent economic system are just too political, I actually, truly, finally have a real excuse to talk politics on this albatross of a channel. For the very first time in my life, I'm actually thankful for the existence of a Republican, for he has provided me the perfect outlet, the unimpeachable right to literally talk literal politics, and for Texas Senator and perennial coward Ted Cruz, this marks the first time in his life that anybody's been thankful for his spineless wretched ass at all. That includes his parents, his kids, and his wife, the woman Trump called ugly and Cruz failed to defend as he was soon found with his worm-like little tongue wriggling deep inside the former president's cracked red raw milky anus. Ha! And some haters say my flair for writing has dulled. Anyway, the man who once abandoned his state during a meteorological disaster to go pump his flaccid tug stick in Cancun has opened the furnace door to his own roasting, for it was he who deigned to identify himself a gamer and thus become content for an embittered lefty content creator to take a massive wet shit on him and feel temporarily better about just how fucking horrible everything is. In an installment of the snide little six sippers own podcast, Senator Ted Cruz indeed said he was a gamer, perhaps hoping to make himself more relatable to the average human being rather than the snivelling invertebrate of a political bottom feeder that he actually is. If you think that might possibly make this hopelessly tiny plate of jizz jelly even vaguely cool, however, think again. You see, it should surprise nobody that a compulsive liar like Ted is actually talking out of his dribbling rectal pipe. He's not actually a gamer so much as he is a microtransaction spending freemium fast tracker whose approach to gaming pretty much sums up his approach to life and politics in general. Yes, from out of his own depraved maw, Ted Cruz explicitly celebrated the very concept of pay to win. Incidentally, he said he didn't like that before he then said it was good because he's Ted Cruz. And that's what he does. When you can buy in-game items and sort of make your character stronger or get advantages. Now, I'll confess, when I play some games, I'll sometimes buy it because it is more fun if suddenly your character has a lot more great stuff that would take you six months or a year to build up. So sometimes I'll, okay, I'll spend 20 bucks and buy a you know, a, a treasure chest full of coins because then I can spend them to get cool things in the game. Now, actual true hardcore gamers, I know how apathetic to real world issues y'all can be, but come on now. I understand that you might not care about Cruz's history of supporting fascism up to and including his undeniable part in the whipping up of a riotously violent insurrection at the Capitol. I'm aware that if I brought up him lying about the Equality Act to perpetuate transphobic rhetoric while moving to restrict the freedoms of LGBTQ plus people, I'd get shrugs at best. And I'm cognizant of the fact that his anti-abortion stance and hypocritical character assassination of pro-choice protests might not perturb you. But come on, pay to win? I know y'all think that's a bridge too far. I mean, Christ, endorsing a child predator is one thing, but pay to win? Introducing legislation that would roll back gay marriage and associated rights is shitty, but we're talking about pay to win here. 
Of course, it's hardly surprising that any Republican would pay to, as publishers call it, skip the grind. It is, after all, what they do in real life. Wealthy, privileged, straight white men and their pick-me quizlings who have all the societal advantages and use their money and political connections to get ahead. This is a group of scumbags who obstructed and lied their way to backing the Supreme Court with their own creatures to finalize their decades-long bid to overturn Roe vs Wade, and of course we were going there. Oh, you didn't think we'd get to the anti-abortion shit on this video game series? Here we fucking are, losers. Men like Ted Cruz will never know what it's like to be pregnant, but that didn't stop him and all the other Republican cronies from fighting against the bodily autonomy of those who do, because the consequences of their actions don't affect them. Nor does ensuring that the country that's forcing people to give birth is the same country that has no universal health care, has no guaranteed paid leave to raise a baby, has no social programs that adequately protect lower income families, a country that only cares about kids while they're fetuses and utterly a abandons them when born. Quite how men like Cruz can call themselves pro-life while taking millions of dollars from gun lobbyists to keep military-grade weapons in the hands of deranged school shooters is beyond me. But the NRA is a prime example of pay to win in real life. A group that spends and spends to win at literally any cost, buying the support of politicians everywhere, very much like the average GOP voting corporate executive who, in Ted's earlier words, has a lot of great stuff that would take you 6 to 12 months to build up. <laughs> Only replace months with years. More years than any of us could physically live for. In video games, pay to win is popularly considered unethical, but we see it in real life all the time. Bobby Kotick doesn't want his restraining order in the news? Use money and power to shut it down. Vince McMahon wants to sexually prey on employees and keep them quiet after. Use money and power to buy silence. Elon Musk wants Twitter to be nice to him. You know the drill. But when I point out that capitalism is literally a pay-to-win system the rich have gamed to ensure they always win at the expense of everyone else, I'm told I'm too political, which is bullshit. Because what's happening in this fucked up system harms us all. I could not just sit here and talk about fucking Overwatch or whatever while this shit's going on. What happened with the overturn of Roe v Wade was Ted Cruz's approach to video games writ large. Wealthy power gamers poured millions into getting what they wanted, only instead of a new skin for their Fortnite character, they got millions of Americans who will fucking die from forced birth from the evil, evil thing they accomplished. And as I've said before, what is happening truly does affect us all all. Even if you're just a gamer who considers your status quo supporting centrism an apolitical stance. And as I've also said before, with the constant attacks on trans rights that have paved the way for this open fascism, you can't pick and choose human rights, not without a domino chain of consequences. Once one group's human rights are up for debate, you've normalised the concept of debating human rights, and it's open season on the lot of us at that point. Once you debate one set of human rights, you open the door to debate all human rights. In fact, it needs saying that the overturn of Roe v Wade also overturned the right to privacy. Even if you can't get pregnant and don't care about any of this, do keep in mind that your private life is up for grabs now too. All of you. All of you. And 99% of you can't pay your way out of this shit. For you, there's only the grind. Now I understand what doing a video like this is gonna cost me. Uh, there will be people furious that I did not actually talk enough about games. There always are. There have been people that for years have said that the Jimquisition is too political. But like I also said, this affects you as well as me, as well as everyone. When human rights are on the line, then your rights are on the line. And for those of you who uh, identify as hardcore gamers and have talked for years about how hard done by and how put upon you are, well, we're facing some real issues now. And just think about that. Like, just, can some of you just please just think about what I've said for all these years and look at where we are now and think that maybe for all of the fury 
and anger and resentment that you've had over video games, maybe you could reserve just a tiny sliver of, of that attitude for people's fucking lives. And you can thank God for me while you do it. Actually, you know what? Like, considering what's been done in his name lately, maybe give it a week.